it's so important that a, the, the guy give a compliment. So let's say that it's someone who knows they're going to go on a date tonight, okay? A first so someone date. watching and it's their first time meeting this person. What can they do to almost ensure themselves having a great time tonight? Envision Is it putting on it. the right dress? No, it's Envision all about it. the right attitude. Right attitude. First of all, yeah. putting self consciousness, shelving it. And, and get excited, excited about, about it. Get excited on the other about person. it, right? Because some people yeah. are bitter. It's like, oh, another first date. I went on 20. I went on five last yeah. week. And I've in this year, I've gone 100 people. This never works out. No. You got to say, okay, well, I'm going to meet a really interesting person tonight. I'm going out. We're going to this great new restaurant. I'm excited. They've got my favorite martini over there. I'm going to have that. If it's not a love connection, I'm having a great night. I think. I think it's really, I think it's about your attitude going in. It's like anything we do in life and anything we accomplish in life, you have to have the right attitude going in. So your attitude isn't like, is this man going to be my future husband? Yeah. Your attitude, and when I was single, my attitude was, I'm going to go on this date and I'm going to have fun no matter what. And I'm going to authentically connect with another person and find out what he's about. Yes. I'm having fun no matter yes. what. Even if he's not fun, this man's having fun. But how do you get he's into that? Fun. So let's say that you've had a crappy well, day at work. No, that's how do you get perfect. into <laughs> that? Yeah. Turn on your favorite song and what? dance. So first of all, don't go straight. Here's the, and one thing. Don't, don't go straight you know, from work. Take don't off your work. Don't necessarily go yeah. straight from work in your work clothes Ever. with the troubles of the Ever. day, with the issues you've had during the Ever. day. Yeah. Yeah. Great straight advice. Straight to yeah. Great advice. Ever. Have a little ritual. Have some time. to you Whatever it means to you. Take Bubble a, bath. Take a, take a long bath. Take a walk. Put some music on and just get into a different mind space. Okay. Shift the clothes. Have a, have a drink. 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 Just one. Just one? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. because. Pretty sure. I think Michelle, are you sure? sure? Just one? Just pretty sure. Okay. Then so the two drink minimum. I want to tell it's a millionaire match right. maker. I want to tell a story about a client I had who worked at the Pentagon. Um, in a very masculine environment and she was going on dates with men and nobody wanted to see her again and she was wonderful and she was attractive and she had everything going for her but nobody was everyone was like no chemistry no chemistry so I said to her listen from now on you only go on a date on a weekend before a date you have to do one of three things I said you have to get a mani-pedi take a bubble bath or oh I forget the next one but anyway something have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> no have a drink do something that um, where you can just kind of disconnect from your day and feel feminine and then I said, you have to wear a dress, no pantsuits, no more pantsuits, okay. and on the date you may not talk about work because there's so much more to you than your work. work. Can I talk awesome. about the dress for a quick second? You may. Because I know that, that <laughs> that's may. a big question, right, is big. what do I wear? And you just talked about, you know, the, uh, the outfit that she wore on the first right. date that was a little bit too puffy. Yeah. What should a woman, what's the ideal outfit the, ide the ideal outfit is something feminine something that shows your figure but you don't want to wear a mini skirt and plunging cleavage right you want you don't want to look like a hooker you want to show tasteful so if you do have a V neckline then wear something longer or slacks but something form fitting something made with a little color feminine and and feminine not, is you know, the key not business feminine. Not, not business feminine. So I'm in LA I'm, the g women tend to show their wares that they sure. paid a lot of money for this this is something I have a big question about. What is too much cleavage? What, what is that? You know, my husband's so funny because he's an entertainer and he works in Beverly Hills performing, right? And he'll say, oh yeah, saw your friend uh, Linda come in the other night showing everything but the nipples. You know, I mean, like, <laughs> that's, these that's women will come in and literally everything's sh hanging out to find a man with just the nipples. They notice it's your, a turn off. Yeah, they notice your breasts gonna, before they notice your they face. They might take you to problem. bed, but they are okay. not going to take you home to, to mo mother or introduce you to their business colleagues. Okay. I mean, it's too much. And the flip side, and the flip side is, go ahead. No, well, I, I, yeah, guys too. But I was going to say the flip side of that is that it's so important that a, the, the guy make a comp give a compliment. Not an insincere right. compliment. I'm not expecting that. But there has to be something about that woman that night that you need to find a way to give a compliment, compliment. to a woman. There, I've never known of a successful date and ever him, right? and to him. Because men right. rarely get compliments. Th right. That well, is the truth. They don't realize how that much time and effort women put into looking pretty for them. That is yeah. true. That gets so the first what would up you like the guy, what do, what do you advise the man to wear on the first date? Polished shoes for sure. I've had women say, God, his shoes were all dirty or scuffed up. Uh, yeah, so, so. Uh, you look perfect. Manny Petty, you look This is like a first date okay. to Anybody me, a tie. Absolutely. You don't need a suit, 
but you you really you look like make it, some effort. Make a little. You, you made some effort. Oh. You put a tie on. And and, and <laughs> don't be afraid for men to get a mani pedi because nobody likes uh, uh, hang nails or chewed up nails or dirt under them. Right. Women, not a good I, look. I wouldn't want a man to touch me with those kind of nails. So don't be afraid to go get a mani pedi as a man. Okay. Is there? Well, what or about out dressing? <laughs> you know, let's say that I show up like this, and you know my date shows up in you know sneakers. Right? Does that show incompatibility? Can we still have a great time on our date? Absolutely. And you can go in the bathroom and take off your tie, you know, yeah. get a little more. Absolutely. Well, and women, she's going to have a, you know, at some point she's going to have an image consultant. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to see that she's going out with a really well dressed guy, and she's going to think to herself, or her friend is going to tell her when she snaps the first picture, looks so cool and he's dressed so great. Unless you're what are you tennis. wearing? You're right.